The 2009 Lehigh Valley Amateur is in full swing in the final round of qualifying that finished last night. With the field now set today, many gathered for the Lehigh Valley Better Ball of Partners rounds. Mike Zambelli has more from Green Pond Country Club. Day four at the Lehigh Valley Amateur Week is uh, now just about getting to get uh, ready to get underway. That today they have a better ball of partners, which has a full field and an exciting day for the players to kind of relax and still be in competition. As far as the championship flight, the field of 64 is now set. When we left you on Monday night, there were 14 players tied at 81, looking for two spots. So 11 of those 14 returned here to Green Pond this morning, and the lucky survivors are Tom Egoff, who won on the first playoff hole and then Mike Seidick survived and will be the final player in the championship flight. Mike Seidick will gain uh, Brian Johnson, the defending champion in round one, which will get underway on Thursday. Tom Egoff will get LJ Bennett, who of course shot a round of 69 and was yesterday's medalist. One of the other qualifiers joined us now. He is uh, Bob Pisacco. Bob, uh, first of all, congratulations in the championship flight. That is step one. And what is a tough championship to win? It certainly is. There's no question. Um, it's uh, match after match. Uh, there's no let up in this. It's uh, you just have to really keep your nose to the grindstone and uh, and hopefully you know you come out on top. You had a little bit of a up and down round to say the least. You got off to a bad start. Number one, lost your drive on the first hole, which was really a rarity. But then on 17, you hit one of those shots we don't like to talk about, but you were able to regroup and make three. Yeah, it was yesterday was a strange round of golf for me. Maybe the oddest round of golf I've ever played. I had, I had two of those yesterday, and uh, it's just <laughs> it's it's hard to recover from them. It's hard to uh, pull the trigger after you do that. Well, so. You wound up with a round of 77. You're having a great year this year. You won the Lehigh Valley Medal play at Harker's with a final round 69, and uh, as you told me, won the Lehigh Club Championship as well. What's the state of your game heading now into the match play portion of this? Not too bad. Overall, I'm uh, hitting the driver very well, and that's usually my uh, my Achilles heel. But I'm hitting the driver real well, and uh, and hopefully the irons come around. The putters uh, is, is seem to be rolling the ball pretty well, and, and hopefully everything will come together this week. Did you get a chance to look at the brackets? Do you know who you open up with? I I'm not sure who I open up with. Um, Second match, though, I may I may meet a good friend in Andy Shoup again. I met him in the first round last year, so we'll he got see. the best of it too, didn't he? He certainly did. He certainly did. Bob, when you get into the match play, and we talk pretty extensively about it being a two-part tournament, does your strategy change in terms of your approach to the game when you get into the match play portion? I think it has to. Uh, yeah, it, it's totally different than a, a stroke play tournament because uh, you're, you're not only playing against the golf course, but you're playing against the opponent. So yeah, there are times, especially out here, um, where if, if, if your opponent may you know hit a drive and into trouble, that you may pull out an iron and, and hit it to the middle of the fairway, and the next thing you know, you're you know a, a par is going to be a good score in a hole. You've had an outstanding golf career coming out of Parkland High School. What would it mean to you to add on your resume, champion of the Lehigh Valley Amateur? Uh, it'd be it would be. Um, It'd just be a culmination of a great, great year. It would, it would be fantastic. Certainly would. I want to wish you very uh, good luck. You get underway on Thursday, and uh, hopefully you're still around on Sunday afternoon. I hope so, Mike. I hope so. Thank you. Bob Pisacco qualifying yesterday with a round of 77. One of the 64 still alive for this championship. And, of course, they started with well over 350 when they had the first qualifying round this past Saturday. A couple other names in the championship flight. There are six former champions. Brian Johnson is the defending champ. He is number one. Dominic Carr, Barry Klinik. Kowski, Jeff Hudson, Robin McCool, and Sal Pacone all have experienced the uh, joy of success here at the Lehigh Valley Amateur. Uh, public is invited. They will get underway with the championship round one on Thursday. They'll play round two on Friday, and then they'll be down to 16 for the weekend. They'll have a round in the morning, afternoon on Saturday, and then the same on Sunday with, uh, if weather permitting, sometime Sunday afternoon, they will crown the newest member of the championship uh, circle here. On the scene at the Lehigh Valley Amateur at Green Pond Country Club, Mike Zambelli, Two Sports.